Hello. So we are back, but this time with a very special video. Okay. Now everyone has a laptop, like I do here. It's an i3. It's quite an old one, but it's still good. You know, it's still working fine. It has a solid state drive inside. It's fine. Now let's have a look closely. Yeah, let's have a look closely. The battery. zero percent available plugged in okay so this battery is not charging i can leave the laptop like days it will not charge the battery more than that yeah more than that you see the laptop so as soon as i unplug the charger okay you can see i have the orange light here you can see the orange light Soon as I unplug the charger, the laptop, the laptop is dying. Huh? You know, there are a lot of laptops with this kind of uh, issue. They are. So uh, the problem is the battery. And that's the easiest way how you can charge a customer for replacing a battery. Actually, a faulty battery means really really means a faulty battery yeah because this video from today is about this no you will be surprised but a dead battery doesn't mean a faulty battery okay so uh, you can help the customer just buying another battery or you can fix the battery yeah remember my video i made a video <clears throat> You remember this website okay but you should remember this video so i review this tool okay this tool is unique you will not find another one in the world yeah it's unique like all in one what you can do to a laptop battery okay so i spoke with the guy and the guy said look i i i, I brought massive improvements to this yeah and i said okay if it is, I will review it. Like last time, like last time, this is not a paid uh, review, okay? You can see, even on that time, I just put the website, the guy website in the description, and that's all, okay? Good, good. So check, this was like a basic software when the guy started, and the guy just, you know, just uh, improved the tool over the years. Like this video was from two, uh, 2020. And now the tool is fantastic. Okay, so let's have a look together. No, oh, yeah, let's have a look together if we can repair the battery. Hmm? What do you think we can repair it? So let's take the battery out. Let me take the, the laptop down. And together, together, let's fix the battery. You remember this tool? We have the tool here. Now let's open the software because the software has massive improvements. Let me open the software. You should have it on the screen. It is. It is okay. Let me plug the charger. Sorry. <clears throat> let me plug the power because device need the power. So the charger it is plugged in. Now all we have to do is to press connect. Connecting and it's connected. Okay, so compared with the last time now We can select the model number and this is our Asus. Yeah, Asus uh, Laptop Let me make this window bigger. What do you think? Okay Now Asus and the battery model number we have on the battery It's a A32 dash k three five three pinout find pinout and now you can find the pinout for every battery in this way okay now let's connect the battery to the device let's do it together so we have the wires 
and that's saying plus is pin number one plus is red like usual that's plus pin number one then we have t pin number four t is gnd is ground yeah pin number four so one two three four okay then we have p number six is data and i know data is green where it's saying on the box anyway okay and then p number uh, seven which is clock yeah right clock and ground p number nine which is the last pin okay that's crazy it's my fault so i was thinking sorry i was thinking i was looking on this picture but actually the picture is here the the numbers not this one this is just an example uh, sorry it's my fault uh, so i have pin number one four five six and nine okay so everything is connected on the battery so you can spot I mean, you can clearly spot the battery is locked. You can see the battery is locked. So, uh, yeah, that's the reason why the battery is not working. So the battery is getting locked when something happens. Like you leave the battery, even a new battery, if you leave the battery for a while, the battery will get discharged and the chip, it will get locked. Okay. Or, I don't know, something happened. It was uh, very cold outside on some point. Yeah, it can happen. Or very hot. It can happen. Uh, the health of the battery. So, check on this one. So, this battery is not working because it's locked. Okay? Well, it has 90% of the capacity. To understand, a faulty battery doesn't mean a bad battery. Okay, so this battery is original. No one opened this battery ever, yeah? So as you can see, look at the health of the battery, yeah? Good. So what we are doing right now, what we are seeing on the screen, you can see the cell voltages, you can see the charging uh, output current and output voltage is nothing. You can see the total voltage. You can see the full charge capacity of the battery. You can see a lot. Okay, so you see this menu was not here before on the old version of the software. This was not here. We can read the data. We can see the chip which is inside. Okay. And uh, what we can do now, because the idea is we can fix it. You see it's locked. The, 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 the battery is locked. It will not charge. It will not uh, output any power. So the next what we can do we can go on this menu and this is the most important menu yeah the, the people that's the reason why they are buying this device for this menu reset uh stop reading sorry reset okay new reset read yeah we are reading the data from the battery and we can see a lot of data. Chip detected, press next button. Press next, next. Chip, next. And now we can read the chip info. And uh, you see the op the operation status does mean the status of the of the chip from inside is sealed so it does mean you cannot change any data but this menu it will do it okay so first let's uh, read the eprom yeah error while reading okay i think we have to unseal first yeah unseal good check the status using read chip info okay you can see the chip right now it's unsealed you can see on the screen hopefully you can see okay 
Now let's read the EEPROM. We can read it, and that's very important because this memory you can write it on a different battery. Yeah, that's very, very important. Now let's save it. We can save it to file, but I will not do it. Yeah, you can save the EEPROM. Yeah, good. You can write it from another battery. Let's say, okay, this battery, battery info. Let's go back. No, we can't go back because you are working here. Let's uh, clear cheap errors. Yeah, you can see here clear cheap errors. Okay, let's do it. Clear. Errors cleared. You can see on the screen. Okay. And what we have to do now? We can seal back. Yeah, we are sealing back everything. And now read chip info. And now the status is zero. And uh, read chip info. Unsealed. No, I want to be back sealed. How, how can I do it? Unseal. Unseal. No, I think we have. One second. And reset. Now let's go to battery info. Let's go to battery info. Uh, start reading. Look at the lock status. Yeah, just 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 look at the lock status. Unlocked. Yeah, you can see. So we just unlock the battery, and look at the battery health. It's it's nearly to very good. I mean, this was not a bad battery. So right now we unlock the battery and we are able to use charge discharge uh, the battery on uh, on the laptop okay now you have few more things here around yeah you can charge the battery so we can charge the battery i mean right now if i want to charge it i can charge it charging selected of course after we unlock the battery otherwise you cannot uh, you cannot do it and you can see the 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 voltage and the current is that going up so the battery it is charging We can discharge the battery. We can calibrate the battery. We can check the cells. Uh, this is related with the, with the device control. Uh, test. This is very important because this device can generate our official, yeah, keep in mind, our official battery report. Because there are some standards, yeah. I spoke with the guy, and the guy said, you know, to send the batteries over a plane, you have to have some kind of uh, specification on the batteries, like to be charged max thirty percent. So this can give you a full report, like a PDF report about the battery. Okay. Then you have this menu because the people are buying the things for this menu. Yeah, let's uh, let's be honest. So what is here? You have the battery cycles. Yeah, cycle count three, three, one. Okay, clear. Good. You know what? I'm 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 I'm, I'm a pretty honest guy, so I'm, I didn't play changing those things. Yeah. So let's just read. Let's go next. Let's go next. Let's unseal first. Yeah, I think that's that was our mistake. We didn't unseal the chip. Unseal. Read the chip info. Okay, now let's change the date. Let's say 20 cycles. Right. Now let's seal. Okay. Everything looks fine and battery info. Start reading. So check on the cycle count here, 20. Now the manufacturer date was uh, 2011. 
now is 2022. Okay. I know people people are really using this on a very dodgy way, just ch changing the cycles, you know. I, I don't think you should trust, I don't know, original battery with low cycles for a MacBook. But anyway, no one, it's dodgy. And actually the people, they are replacing the cell using this. And obviously they are uh, changing the data, like the cycle count, like the, the manufacture date. Because, you know, not everyone is living like on England, on Europe, United States, Australia, you know. There are people that are living in poor countries and they don't really afford to buy batteries and they prefer just to swap the cell. So we replace a faulty cell. Many times we have a faulty cell. Or look at this battery. I mean, look at the health of this battery. It's like 90%. And this is very precise. This is reported by the chip, not by the device. By the chip from the, the inside of the battery. Okay? So we just fix, we just unlock the battery. Now we can test it. Yeah? Let's press stop reading. Now let me disable this program from the screen. Uh, yeah, it's, 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 it's off. Now let's get this out from here. Now I have to unplug this charger. Let me grab the laptop. Plug the battery back. And now we can test it. I mean, now the battery should be charging fine. So the cells, I can see on the picture, the cells are like 3.4 volts. Yeah. So uh, the battery needs a little bit of charge, but should be charging. Yeah, compared with before when the battery was locked and was not charging. Hmm? What do you think? You can't see. Okay, you can't see. Let me take this out. You see, the things are moving there. So right now, you can see... I have a time, I have two hours and 15 minutes to full charge. So this battery just came back to life. Okay. Pretty nice. Yeah, 3%. Yeah, so if I unplug now the charger, yeah, let's unplug the charger together. Let's do it. Let's see if it's holding the power. Unplugging the charger. And the laptop is still on with 3%. That means the battery, the battery cells is, is, are very good. If we 3%, I can keep the laptop on. So that's the idea about this device. I mean, I spoke with the guy. We, we, you know, we are speaking. The guy is Romanian. And uh, he told me, actually, you know, there are people, they having a lot of batteries, like they want to be tested, they want a report for the battery or repair for the battery. Is, is The device is just impressive, though, the device what the guy is selling, okay? Uh, going back to the to his page, yeah, my, my video is here. You see, this is my video from like uh, two or three years ago, two years, yeah? And uh, I made this video just because he added the, the cheap reset option. So now you can actually reset the a locked battery. Now, what devices, uh, what battery are supporting this device? Honestly speaking, because I spoke with the guy and he said it's around 85% from the market batteries. Yeah, there are a few batteries, weird batteries, Chinese, Japanese which uh, are not yet supported. But most of the rest of the batteries, like normal batteries, are supported by, uh, by this device. Okay? When you buy the device, you buy the device, it's coming. With 10 days, you can uh, reset how many batteries you want. But to have this reset option, yeah, you see that you have to pay some extra money. Yeah, that's the life.
And also you can uh, buy a license for uh, no DJI, DJI, and this is for laptops, laptop, uh, laptops or uh, reset license. Yeah, this is a DJI. Uh, Okay, I think I'll stop now. I just want to point again about this beautiful device. And, uh, you know, you can have a look on the on the guy website. You, I will leave you the website on the description. And I also, I told him, you know, the first video was for free, but this time give me something to give them. And you'll find a coupon with a $10 discount when you buy a battery analyzer. Okay, I'll just show you, you know, I just, I just fixed this battery. So instead of buying a new one, and I can bet, you know, I can bet with you, we are buying a new battery, and actually the total capacity of a new battery is lower compared with this original battery with the health of this battery. Yes, you keep, keep in mind, this is 11 years old battery. You've seen the battery health, yeah? I trust more this battery compared if I'll go now and I buy a copy. Yeah, and don't be dodgy, yeah? don't be dodgy. Don't buy, uh, use MacBook uh, batteries and change the cycle count. Yeah, just try to be fair. Try to be fair. I never, I never use that to change the cycle count or the, or the manufacturer date. But there are people probably they are doing it. So I'll stop now. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video. And if you like the device, you can go and buy it. The device comes with uh, a lot of connectors and things. And uh, have a great day. Eh? See you probably on the next video. Bye.